Okay, here's a really short video for you. We've already spoken about the name of all the steering components and ball joints in one of my other videos, um, which causes some confusion when ordering. Now let's go to the back end and talk about what each of these items in the rear suspension is referred to as. Um, so what we've got up here now is a um, late Amazon. So this video will also include the late P1800. And by late, I mean that in 1967, Volvo uprated the rear suspension on the Amazon and P18. Um, and this is what we're looking at today. Uh, I will try and sort out another video when I next get a early car on the ramps to show you what the differences are. However, let's just set to on this one. So there's basically a total of five link location at the back end of an Amazon and P1800. We have um, the odd one out, a singular panard rod. This is what locates the axle laterally across the car. So it's attached to the shell on the right hand side of the car and horizontally across to the left hand side of the axle. So that stops the axle moving across the car. Then we've got the symmetrical linkages. Let's get to the one that's difficult to see. This upper link that is outboard and attaches from the shell up here, horizontally aft to the leading edge of the axle. That is what Volvo term a support arm. Okay, so that's a support arm. It has two small bushes, uh, one bush at each end. These can either be hourglass shaped in this instance or um, can be purely cylindrical bushes. Okay, so we have the panard rod we've had and now a support arm. And this arm here, the very obviously viewable one, goes from the shell at the leading edge and to the underside of the axle. This is a torque arm because it resists the torque of accelerating because it's set up like that. And this is rec easily recognizable by the big bush at the after end and the small bush at the front end. Again, this can either come as an hourglass shape or it can be purely cylindrical on a few rare cars in 1967. Um, so you need to look at that. Um, and when ordering bushes, you also need to measure the distance across this boss here um, because there are two sizes here. Uh, one is narrow, one is wider, and we need to know that. 44 and 38, I think. There you go, 44 and 38 mil are the options across here. Um, what do the straps do, Rob? And at the back here, we have the suspension straps. So these prevent the shock absorber from overextending. If you didn't have this, if you went yumping over a bridge and took air, then the shock absorber would take all the force and all the weight of your axle plus its spring slamming down onto the end of it. And that's not good for any shock absorber. So hence the axle straps are important. They prevent the shock absorber from maxing out at its full extension. And the PV and the 220 have different lengths. From they the Amazon do. And the That's right. The 220 estate has a completely different length. Good. I think we're done. There we go. That's the name of the three items locating the rear axle. Panard rod, support arm at the top, torque arm down here at the bottom. And a spicer back axle cover. And this just to reiterate another of my videos, is a Spicer back axle. Thank you very much. Talk to you again soon. Bye.